an hour and a half later, I was laying on the benches in the dining room like, what the F is wrong with me? And I made you come pick me up because I could not drive. Mr. Kula, we would like <laughs> we would like to tell you that. Um, you okay, know. here we go. First celebrity, first celebrity you would date on the count of three. One, two, three. Well, I mean, somebody assumes you could do fifteen pull-ups. So, wait, I'm not white trash. <laughs> as fuck. Been Fleming real big. Are we started? Or are are you ready? Fleming real big. Are you ready to start? Body real big. A Fleming <laughs> real big. Everything real big. <coughs> Men with cold, folks. We out here, dude. Do you want to do your stupid thing? Welcome! No! Welcome. Welcome to episode 12. You clipped the fuck out of the <laughs> recorder. Get clipped, my guy. I don't know how to help you. Still not sure what it means. You can't yell. Clip it up. No, we don't like clipping. Clipping is bad. We do not want clipping. Mother clipper. Clipping is in the red. You don't want to red. No red lining. That's I'm clipping. loud. I'm clipping. I'm not loud enough. Well, why don't you find a I'm middle clipping. ground? Why don't you find a middle ground and stay there? I'm going to fucking clip you, dude. I'm going to scrape the shit out of you. No. So I thought we could begin this a little bit differently. Okay. You know, when we started posting on YouTube, you know, I'd heard I had heard other podcasters or like other people say, you can't look at the comments. Mm-hmm. I looked at the comments. Everyone does. I mean, you have to know. Um, So we got some pretty good. We got some pretty good comments that, you know, let's just go over some of them. OK. You, you good with that? Yeah. I'm not sensitive in the least bit. That's a joke I'm very... That's I'm a lie. She's highly lying. sensitive. She's a big liar. I'm very sensitive. Now, what did we post this week? I have no idea. Okay, I posted... I posted something on YouTube, a little short video. Okay. Basically, it said... The title was, You Can't Have Weak Arms on the Farm. Okay. <clears throat> now, I should have known that that was going to attract some... Uh, some people that had a lot to say sure. about farming because we don't look like we farm. Okay. I can, I mean, I, I could look like I would farm. You don't look. You're No, you don't. You think a farmer wears Viore trainers or joggers? No. And platform sandals. So I was basically telling you that you couldn't, you wouldn't last on a farm because you have weak arms. And boy, were people coming for me. Did people come to my rescue? They came to your rescue. Wow. Look at that. Uh, the first one says, who is this boy who did 15 pull-ups one weekend talking to? Pretty sure women have existed on farms for as long as farms have ever effing existed. Okay, well, I, I actually don't know if that is true. I feel like women weren't really allowed to farm. I guess maybe hunter-gatherer type vibes. Yeah. 15 well, pull-ups, though. That's really a... That's... Sa- shout out Gucci Cody. Thank you for that. Are we allowed to say their names? Well, is that a- doxing? No. Do we get in trouble? No. Oh. Uh, we have another one that says, how does this guy think farming works exactly? Weak arms? You don't plow with your arms. Very rude of him, to be honest. How do you feel about what, me telling you that you have weak arms? I mean, uh, first of all, going back to Gucci Cody, saying you did 15 pull-ups. Gucci Cody, I can't do any pull-ups. I do appreciate you coming to my rescue. I did not solicitate for it to be rescued. Both um, of you to also think that I can do 15 pull-ups. Can you pull-ups do, are hard. Pull-ups are hard. Can you do 15 pull-ups? No. That's a lot. That's a lot of pull-ups. Yeah, you'd be pretty buff if you could do 15 pull-ups. Yeah, no, that's a no-go for Maybe he's boy. complimenting you. Maybe he's like, well, this guy's buff, but you're also a douchebag for saying your girlfriend can't plow. Way to look at the glass half full. I'm buff. Who's the other guy? The other guy says that farming is not done by hand. I don't know. I'm pretty sure people still manually plow. So this one, I just think, listen, me and you are here having a silly goose time. These people are defending my honor. They And people are coming to your defense. And I just... I really want to get the point of cross that what we're saying means absolutely nothing and holds zero water in the in the real world. And also, I would like to point out that you telling me that I'm not built for farming is 
very it's on the nicer spectrum of things that we say to each other yeah i mean we and really, it just you got it's not that serious we've almost had people call like lawyers in public because of the stuff that we yeah. say you know we're just that couple that just is like very mean to each now other now this next one um by a user named caped baldy it's long-winded, so give me a second. Okay, Baldy. Let's be fair. The women would do what they've historically done forever. Dominant, dominant alpha female will pimp out the more agreeable, weaker-minded females at the local brothel. Just look at feudalistic Japan. It's the perfect model of what would happen to feminists if the system they hate so much collapsed. Okay, Baldy, listen here. First of all, an alpha female brothel society if that's what Kate took over and i don't know what the feud feudalist japan is always i don't know what that actually means but that's like your utopia first of all baldy you are correct i would be an alpha female in a brothel type situation um uh second of all i'm not really sure how that ties into the farming and me not being able to farm i could farm dicks or something is that what you're saying I don't know what he's trying to say, but or she, I don't know, could be a bald lady. Them. Uh, regardless, them, they, whoever. Again, uh, C.1, it's not that serious. Baldy, we would like a little clarification on the feudalist Japan. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so if you could wrap that around. Are you not, you're not posting these though, right? They're not open. They're, they're not visible to other people. Uh, I have not made these visible yet. No. No, I don't think you should. I think you should just. Um, so the next one, her this is all still on. This is farming? all still about the farming one. Whoa. The farming was was really, really it was really polarizing. Yeah. People were not happy with me, and I guess two people who look like they don't farm talking about farming. The farming community was up in arms. They oh, were man. not happy. Farmers only came for you. Um, there is another one that says her delusion is unreal yet very real. <laughs> You're correct. And then the last one on this video that was my favorite um, says, hey, soy boy, look in the mirror. That's it? That's it. Soy boy, look in the mirror. Is he saying that you look like a vegetarian or vegan? I'm I'm assuming it means I'm weak. You know, people come up with these terms and people just like to throw them around, but there's no context. Like soy boy. I I mean, aren't isn't edamame soybeans? Yeah. I fuck with edamame heavy. Yeah, so soybeans I are good. Technically would be a soy, soy boy. sauce. Love soy sauce. Love soy sauce. Love soy sauce. Yeah. I mean, let him be let him be I would prefer soy man. Soy no, well, it that sounds better as soy boy. The rhyming scheme works, but I mean, listen, I enjoy soy. I'm a soy enjoyer. Yeah. Regardless, that was a fun one. Um, let's see. There's two more. Sounds like we need to have a farming segment to really <laughs> ruffle add, some feathers. Yeah, really get the people going. We could talk about. You know, I, you would think that we'd attract more farmers, being that like if we have coop in the name and we're pretty much talking about chickens well, all day maybe that's what it is maybe the farmers are finally coming around and they're like these motherfuckers aren't farmers they, they are farming there's this not a single, blasphemous this is blasphemous now i have two more for you let's hear them the other one one of them i posted on instagram but i thought it was worth a mention sure um on one of our random videos some dude just said his mouth is fucking huge which not wrong they're not wrong you do but have a large you mouth. took time out of your day to type that out and into the world yeah but uh, you got to think about like this is their day like this is their this is their entertainment this is their hobby they're trolls i mean i guess they this is how they spend their I time laughed out loud yeah it's pretty funny my mouth agape your so, mouth i mean it like he said that and my mouth was wide open it's pretty very loud it's very pretty big. big it's, it's a pretty big, big mouth nice teeth now this one good lips thank you oh my gosh why don't you comment on my I'm shit? into that mouth. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this last one. Another long-winded one. Oh. But I thought this one... This one has a twist. Okay. So the comment reads... What video is on this on? This one was the one where you short-circuited and said hot dogs were your favorite video. Oh. Uh, or hot dogs were your favorite food. Excuse me. Okay. Now this one says... 
LMAO. Yeah, I don't even know you and what you think you're doing podcasting, but that wasn't even the slightest funny. This alone tells me you and your podcast are complete trashed. If this is what you clip, I can only imagine the dumb topics you talk about. Don't quit your day job. First and foremost... Joke's on you, he doesn't have a day job. Yeah, bold of you to assume I have a day job. Secondly, when I when I logged into YouTube yesterday sure. to check on the stuff, uh. I didn't think I was going to get long-winded life advice by username in your culo. <laughs> Mr. Kula, we would like <laughs> we would like to tell you that um, you, you we invite you to watch the rest of the podcast. It gets worse, I promise you. It, you're right. You're what, extremely right. What we have clipped, it is heinous garbage. Um, heinous and then garbage is a great. You bandage. could you could elongate that heinous garbage by watching all uh, sixty four minutes of our hilarious, lovable podcast. Mr. Kulo, thank you so much for your input. I mean, and those were just the ones that didn't, that I haven't accepted. Mm. Um, the ones on the hot dog one, someone called you a glizzy goblin, which is fucking gold. Also not fucking wrong. These people are spot on. I do want to just mention that the hot dog thing, you know. It seems to be a recurring theme uh, in this. <laughs> I love hot dogs. I love hot dogs. It was pretty much all I would eat when I was little was fucking oscar meyer turkey franks because i was super picky and it's probably why i have fucked up bowels aside from the point um it's not my favorite food what was the question i said best food of all time and counted oh, you down you and know, you literally were deer in the headlights uh hot dog the first thing that pops into my head is a fucking hot dog maybe it's my comfort place maybe that's like where i would go for comfort as a hot dog there were other people that were agreeing with you though i would get glizzy goblin tattooed on my body now i would like to go on record as saying i don't know if i would continue this relationship if she got glizzy goblin tattooed on her body what if i just got a tattoo of a hot dog with goblin underneath Somehow worse. But some, like, maybe there's a little apostrophe next to the end. So no. it could be like, I'm I'm a goblin for hot dogs, but I'm also goblin. There would be two Bs in gobbling. Oh. Goblin and gobbling. Are could do a carrot with a B down. No. There's Inter no... there's no Interchangeable. There's no world in which you get glizzy goblin any iteration on your body and we stay together. That's fair. That's okay. So I need you to know that. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's this new segment where we revisit all of the heinous comments that we get. This week was the worst one of them all because I feel like it was a bold statement to say that hot dogs were the best food of all time. And it was also a bold statement to A, tell you that you're not fit for farming. And also B, I guess imply that i am built for farming farm people don't like that no F farm youtube came at us tough they sure did um but you know what i would like to just reiterate that we appreciate your comments we appreciate your views all of the 30 to 45 seconds spent watching our videos and further pushing it into the algorithm and adding it to your list of trolling, we really appreciate. We feel honored to be. Thanks a part for stopping of that. by. We need to get like a welcome mat. Yeah. Wipe your feet wipe before your, you leave a comment. Wipe your feet before you take a fucking huge shit on us. <laughs> but uh, we love you, and Do you know, we? you know what? It is probably hard for you to get unsolicited advice from men because that's pretty much all I've ever gotten in my life was unsolicited comments and advice from men so yeah well that's all youtube is basically you've so. sucked me into that atmosphere you're welcome and now i get unsolicited comments telling me that i'm worthless but also telling it's like people hitting on me and telling me i'm ugly at the same time oh, which i'm pretty sure you got that all the time welcome to being a female i'm not a female on the internet but you're that's you know you know, what you may not it? farm, but you are white trash. Well, I mean, somebody assumes you could do 15 pull-ups, so... Wait, I'm not white trash. <laughs> I'm like white... I want to say compost, but that's f really natural, so not... 
I guess I'm kind of a little bit trash. Who is it trash? You no, know? no, you're trash. I just witnessed something that I didn't think I would witness. It's 10 years. It's hard for it. Sorry. Last time you got mad at me, it's been nine years, four months, eight weeks, three hours, two minutes. It's actually probably pretty close. Um, But we've been together a long time and okay. it's tough for you to surprise me because we pretty much know everything about each other. But you came home and the first thing you did was you ate... Uh, you ate a protein bar, but you ate it on the toilet. Now, and I don't think I'm in the wrong by saying, what in the fuck is wrong with you eating on the toilet? Listen, I came home from my workout. I, I That is no excuse. Knew you were going to either not let me have a snack. You weren't going to let me sit down, pee, and have a snack. I was going to have to combine one of those two. So I combined all three. I sat down on the toilet. I peed, I opened up a protein bar, and I had a little snack. And I'm not lying when I say it's not the first time that I've done that. It's the first time I've seen you do that. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I don't even know you. Glizzy Goblin tattoo, eating Uh, protein bars on the toilet. That's a Glizzy Goblin move. (laughs) Only a Glizzy Goblin would eat a protein bar on the toilet. I wasn't taking a shit. I was just having a piss. It's also kind of funny because... (sighs) Most people know the word glizzy as hot dog, as if that's in the the sphere of everything. But you, uh, being the weirdo that you are, instead of in our household, glizzy means daddy long legs. Spider. It's a spider. So well, it, it started as gizzard, but <laughs> as one spider, and then we had multiple gizzies. Yeah. And then it turned into glizzy. We got a big glizzy in the fucking kitchen, did you see? No, I didn't. He's but a big boy. <laughs> it's funny because if anyone else were to come in this house and hear us talk about a daddy long legs, you'd be like, hey, come check out this glizzy in the bedroom. And people would think you're on drugs. I One time you were gone and I was trying to figure out how to do a reel. Mm. And I filmed a reel of all the different daddy long, long legs in the house. And I just, there's just like, small clips of me trying to get the spiders in and I still have it and it's really um it's really kind it of probably weird. looks like the grandparents that <laughs> try to do you it's pretty embarrassing sorry are you sorry no don't start mumbling now you've been so <laughs> good <laughs> no don't do that uh the the fact that yeah if anyone heard you talking about that they would lose their mind and be like what in the hell are you talking about that's most of the stuff that i talk about though i mean who talks normal is the point that's boring talking normal oh it's a daddy long legs first of all it might be a mommy long legs glizzy Uh, is interchangeable are they girl are there girl ones yeah are you sure they have the babies so i feel so bad this pot has a bunch of them in her Glizzies? Mm-hmm. Little baby ones. Little baby They live glizzy. in my plants and I let them. Some, to, gl- some gliz babies? To the point where I won't water the plant because I don't want them to die. That plant is dead as fuck. That plant is dead. It, I re- and it's dead because you didn't want to kill the glizzies? No, I replanted it and I fucking hate replanting my plants. Why? Because they always fucking die after I do that. They don't need to. They don't need to. I follow all the fucking steps, but some for some reason they all fucking die and it, stresses me out because i have a couple so any of those fucking farmers i were on there talking shit drop your fucking whatever the hell sorry okay let's reel it in sorry we're gonna reel it right mr Kulo, that wasn't to you mr Kulo. <laughs> mr baldy wasn't to you i'm assuming they're all men i would assume women don't really i don't think women give a shit we will find much more creative ways to make you feel small and insignificant which is Men will just, that's a, why you a just. A red flag. That's no, a red flag. No, 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 no. Men are just, you know, they'll just pick out every little thing about you f- with n- absolutely no purpose of speaking uh, on anything that you're talking about. So, What are some red flags in, say, you were looking at other male suitors? Uh, what are some red flags? <sighs> If they exercise too much, that's kind of a red flag. <laughs> so, health is a red flag for you? Yeah, but if they're like, I maybe that's more of a type and not a red flag. 
Red flag, red flag, red flag. Um, you know, take selfies to me, maybe. Too many selfies. Too many selfies. Um, videos of them talking to the phone a lot of times. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, like lying. I don't know. Lying. If they don't like dogs. I think that's a big one. Is if they you don't can be a cat person, fine. But you gotta like dogs. But if you're like, I'm just, I don't like dogs, then you're a um, jerk. You're a terrier. Uh, clingy. Yeah. Clingy. Uh, ooh, I know some good ones. Hit me. Clingy, possessive, manipulative. They try to f- make all the other people in your life seem bad, so that they could just have you all to themselves, and then you eventually lose all your friends and your family, and then they have you all together. You delete all your social media, but they still have theirs. They have friends that they're allowed to hang out with, but you're not allowed to do anything. Going through each other's phones is a big no-no. Red flag. Don't do it. Okay, let's, I'm off let's, track. Let's, let, let's let's take it easy. You really got going. You I get, don't know you what get men fired up. I don't know what men do. Sandals. No <laughs> <laughs> sandals. Slides are one thing, but if you have fucking rainbows on, you don't like flip flops. I don't like mandals. It's I'm sorry. Male flip flops is not something that I like. At least on like straight men, I just can't do it. Are you down? Back down to earth now. I'm I'm not sure. You got fired up there. Not sure. Um, I think listen. To me, you gotta really get to know somebody. Mm. And there are certain things, there are certain tell alls. Like I can tell What's red flags for you and a lady? Well, obviously the self absorbed selfies all the time yeah. kind of thing. That's annoying. Yeah. And you know, I will let I will let some red flags fly for a little bit if because I got to get to know somebody. Oh. I won't just like judge, judge it off the bat. Okay. But there are a few tell all signs in a relationship where you can tell. I can tell everything I need to know about somebody with like two or three different things. Mm. Like I can tell how they grew up. I can tell what type of person they are. I know exactly everything about them with like three things. Okay. One of those things. Is how they stack a dishwasher. I can tell. I can if you if you aren't good at stacking a dishwasher or a drying rack for that matter. I know your 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 brain is all over the place. I gotta re. Take these <laughs> off. I'm taking them off. Yeah, we're still together, even though even though you're a bad stacker. Like I said, Not a bad stacker. you're a terrible stacker. No, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Number just- two. Maybe <laughs> is it- maybe when I first had a dishwasher again, I forgot how to stack the dishwasher. There was one incident with some bowls. Fine. Well, you. I just know you never did dishes as a kid. No, I did dishes. No. I did. No, you didn't. I was always the stacker. No, you weren't. I was. Then that's an even bigger red flag because you never learned how to stack? My mom never put big stuff in the dishwasher, though. Pots and pans never went in there. Like bowls never went in there. It was always just plates and like cut like small stuff. So the big stuff. Second I, red flag. Uh, sorry. How a person eats a chicken wing. These are personal <laughs> attacks. These are personal attacks on me. These are not red flags. First and foremost, I eat a fucking chicken wing just fine. These are I, personal. Okay, hold, on. hold on. Hold the phone. I never said once. I never said this was you by any means. No, no, no. You do. You want to know why? Because we will be at a table of like 10 people and I will eat my chicken wing, minding my own damn chicken wing business. And you'll be like, what the fucking chicken wing is this? Look at all this meat left on there. You don't eat chicken wings right. I like the flats better. You don't eat those right either. I do. And I was, I was saying this as a general statement. I wasn't coming for you. But also, since you brought it up, you don't eat chicken wings, right? And I didn't mean for this to be a personal attack on you. Let's hear the number next, three. Number three is not a personal attack. As a matter of fact, this is a testament to you. Okay. Number three is 
kind of a two-parter. Okay. It's like how they treat service industry people oh. and how much they tip. Those ones, if you treat service industry people like garbage and you tip like garbage, there's no ho- there's no hope. Yeah. How you treat those people is how you treat everybody in your life it's eventually. True. And you can't I can't be having that. I do agree with that. Yeah, I um I do try to go above and beyond for service industry of all industries. That industry, that's the one where you got to shell it out because that job is hard. Yeah. It's Dealing hard. with people is not an easy task. No, it's not. And uh, I, I, I also, you know, I think we talked about this before. I value service industry people so much that even if my order is completely wrong if it's still edible and i still like it i will eat it and not say a fucking word so those three those are the those are the three red flags um that i have in uh in other people not Mm. just not just people i want to date just people in general yeah i don't really know how the general population is anymore in like the dating pool yeah you've been out of it a long time i gotta imagine it probably sucks you know I mean, I also got, I never used Tinder or like any of the online dating things. I feel like we met each other right at the start of Tinder. I was on it briefly, but that I didn't get much out of it. You had a couple of Tinder Okay, let's not, we're not, we're not getting into that. We're not getting into the nitty gritty of it. What I'm saying is, but yeah, I I did Tinder for a little bit, but I never did Hinge. I never Mm. did Bumble. I never did any of the other ones. I mean, I know several people that have met their spouses and have kids with people they've met on like Tinder and Bumble and Hinge. Who? Met on Tinder. Oh, wow. Uh, Emily and Danae met on Hinge. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, wow. Both of those people. Um, Good for them. Yeah. It works wonders, it but works. I would assume that dating probably nowadays has got to be trash. It's got to be tough, especially like at our age. Because everyone's so divided and everyone is just like mega chad or like a but i do think maybe dating in your 30s is better than dating in your 20s because i think that that's probably true i feel like people are like a little bit more sure of themselves and like they have a little bit more understanding yeah. like if i was single right now i would definitely be better off choosing a person also i feel like it's a lot easier to tell who a person is when they're 20, like reading another person. Cause when you're in your early twenties, you're just like, fuck it. I'm this, this, and this you're out partying. You're doing X, Y, and Z. You're a lot easier to read. Cause you're out and about like yeah. now, like I'm reserved. It's like, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Yeah. Well, you're also not single. So in people, I'm not saying I'm dating right now Yeah. that you know of. Oh, huh. I have dates, dude. What was your type be? My type is you. Oh, chicken, you're my type. My type is you. I mean, we do all the same things. And we hang out. I think the biggest thing is someone that I can... We laugh so much. We do. And that is my favorite thing. Uh, In my journaling, I do a thing. I have like five segments that I do pretty much every night. Do you still do that every night? I try to do it every night. Um, but the last thing is I write out the best thing that happened to me that day. And a lot of times it, I just put just hanging out with you on the couch and laughing. Mm, my chicken. It's so sweet. Because it is, it's like when you're just like, when we're dying laughing or like the dumbest shit, like I'm just, the, some of the shit you say is so funny. I just think, um, most of the conversations that we have, if I heard other people having them, especially in public, I'd be like, Barf City, these people are fucking disgusting. What state is Barf City in? Mm-hmm. Be careful. Maricopa County. That's Where's not a state. <laughs> <laughs> also, what is Maricopa County? It's a county in, I think it's Arizona, where they had an episode of Female Cops. It was like the Lady Cops show. You have a problem. They were pretty hot. You have a problem, dog. Um, what would your type be? Probably. You. Okay, here we go. First celebrity, first celebrity you would date on the count of three. One, two, three. Go. Kristen Stewart. She's so weird. I love her. 
That was a twist. And I love her with short hair. Um, that's an interesting choice. Yeah. You, you're like oddly into Twilight, which people uh, don't know. I, I think am we need incredibly to, into Twilight. <laughs> that needs to be public. How into Twilight you are. I watch. I were you a vampire or a or a dog? Guy? Oh, I'm always okay. Listen, I think Jacob's very hot, and I do. He's a chubbo now. Love how. Burly Sorry, that was are. so mean. <laughs> I did not mean that. Not that you're ever going to see this, but I did not mean that. Chubbo is not a part of my vernacular. Continue. <laughs> um, I'm Team Edward because I like skinny, pale men over... You like tall, skinny, pale. Looks a little bit dead. Not really sure. Is a little bit dead. Yeah. Um, you know I've never seen a Twilight. It's fucking ridiculous. I never, I don't think I read, I read like very dark, like drug addiction books in high school. I don't know why. I know why, but I read, I would leave class so I could go read Twilight. Yeah. And I don't know what happened to me. I was obsessed with them. I read all of the books and then I watched, you know, obviously all of the movies. I think I watched the first movie like every day. And and as a high schooler, those books were fatty. And in high school, I didn't have time to commit to like a fucking large book like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I especially loved... one about werewolves and vampires and it's a modern day love story. Sparkly guys. I love any vampire movie though. What's your favorite vampire show or movie? My favorite vampire show or movie mm -hmm. would probably be Little Vampires. Oh, that's a good one. With the Stuart little, little Kid. Yeah, I love that one. I love Underworld. I don't know what that is. <gasps> what? Yes, you do. With Olivia Wilde. Is that her name? I don't know who that is. Um, Underworld, Queen of the Damned. Don't know that. Great soundtrack. Um, Hotel Transylvania is pretty good. That's a good one. Have you actually seen that? The first one. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Um. Interview with a Vampire. Never seen it. Oh, I'm in a deep, Buffy spiral right now. Okay, you need a, to go to rehab for how much Buffy you're watching. Okay, that's not true. And there's a huge fan following for Buffy. There's several podcasts. Who's the main lady? Is that Sarah Michelle Geller? Sure is. Why does she have three names? I don't know. Didn't ask. That's too much. SMG, girl. You watch too much Buffy. Well, you've been fucking home all the time, so I haven't been. Okay, relax, dude. Okay? I love you. Don't leave. What's your favorite vampire joint? Like actual vampires. Are there vampires in Harry Potter? No. Dang. There probably is in like a different town. There's werewolves. If there's one, there's the other. Everyone knows that. They're, Professor you can't, Lupin. I understand that, but I'm saying old Loopy uh. would... It, God damn it. That's three. You're a, you're a gas giant. We call you Jupiter. I've been really loving. Um, I mean, obviously, what we do in the shadows. I really want to watch. Oh, that's my favorite one. The British version. I think it's just a movie, though. There's a British version. Yeah, that's the original one. Whoa. And then the one that's on Hulu is. Is the it a remake. comedy? Yeah. And it's the guy, the main guy in like the vampire, vampiric council. The like first guy that talks, he's the main vampire. I think he is like the Nandor. We love that. It's pretty good. We love that. How do we get it? I would want to be it? a vampire. You would want to be a yeah, vampire. Yeah, I would a hundred percent. But I'd like to be like a twenty-six-year-old vampire. But what if they came to you now? That's fine. I'll do that. I just want to be like a fifty-seven-year-old vampire. What would you even do as a vampire? Whatever the hell I want. Eat people. Who would you eat? Criminals. You only want criminals. I'd be like a, I almost said Red Robin, Robin Hood, but instead of... You would open a Red Robin? I would open a Red <laughs> Robin of just bodies, but I would just, you know, take from the rich, give to the poor, eat the criminals, and the murderers. They could really... Well, that would be unethical. Why? If, the, if you went around... Wait a minute. I'm not turning people. I'm murking people. You're turning, not murking. I'm, I'm gonna take their blood, give it to other vampires. You're gonna drain them of their blood, seal it up, 
give it to other vampires. Yeah. So instead of like True Blood, that's another good one. That's a show. I don't you know Eric t- Northman. Oh my God. You wanna suck him off? <sighs> no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um so you're gonna get the blood of criminals. You're gonna bottle it up. I mean, not like you petty s- criminals. I'm like Grand Theft Auto. You could but... start like a business. Yeah. Like Powerade. Yeah. Blood orange. Blood. I don't think they want additives, really. Make some barf. In True Blood, they have the different blood types. But True Blood was artificial blood so that vampires didn't have to kill people anymore. And they were all living together. Everyone knew vampires existed. You have a problem. We need to get you off the stuff. No. We need to get you off the stuff. Who would you date, celebrity? Three, two, one. Mila Kunis. Great choice. Although that probably wouldn't be my first one. That was just the first one that came to my brain. I think that's I a think great I choice. I think I might have watched like, Just Go With It or something earlier. She's small. That's, she's not in that. What's the one where she's banging Justin Timberlake? Just Friends. Yeah. Friends with Benefits? Yeah. Or Just Friends. Something friends like that. Benefits. Regardless. She's a cutie. That's a great she choice. She is She speaks a... Russian. Hot. Hot. Okay. I didn't know that, but she went yeah. even further up my list. Yeah. Because that is great. There's a video of her. I think she, it was at like a panel about one of their shows or movies. And I think somebody said something rude in Russian and she just went off on them in Russian. I was like, geez. I'm dig. I'm, I dig that. Yeah. Who is the one-legged man that told you to go fuck yourself? Oh. And where was this? And why was I not there? It was at work. And I was walking to the break room. And I... I think it was just like a regular day. And there was a man in a wheelchair with one leg. And... He was like kind of struggling to put his jacket on and like kind of like get himself down the hall. And so I just I had my water. I was going to go fill up my water. And I was like, do you need any help? And he goes, if I wanted help, I would ask for it and start screaming. And he goes, if I needed help, I'd have a sign on my body that says somebody help me. And he would, he stopped in the middle of the hallway and was yelling as I just, I just said, okay. And I just kept walking and I could hear him still yelling as I was filling in my water bottle. And then he was just like scooting himself along. My guy didn't need your help. He certainly did not need my help. And he was so pissed. And there was other people in the hallway. He was like screaming at them. That's a little taste of your feminist bullshit. It was so. Don't ask me if I need help. I'm a woman. I could do it. It was pretty funny. I was just like, all right. And then he just kept going. I had like you know just walking i was like have a good day and uh i you know he just kept going and he he really told me to go go fuck myself yeah exactly don't offer help to my guy my guy's out there rolling he was not rolling he was struggling but you know and i respect his struggle and i'm i did not you know when you're in that situation you gotta be less um stubborn yeah like roll me down the hall cool yeah. Less his arm were his arms fucking jacked. It was and I probably shouldn't be saying this. It was very Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Daniel. Knee down, no leg. Wow. Um you shouldn't have called you should have just been like, all right, Lieutenant Dan, I'm out. I can't I can't say that to him. Why? Because he would have fucking he would have come for me with well, that other leg. He was struggling getting himself anywhere. He wouldn't have been able to catch you. Nah, he had just he literally was, walked down half a flight of stairs. He was having a he was having a day. Maybe they told me they had to take his other leg or something. Did he have gout? I don't know. Diabetes. Not sure. No, he was pretty skinny. Herpes. I don't know. Can you lose your leg to herpes? Not sure. Don't think so. Maybe he had gastrointestinal discomfort. I mean, everyone does. Who doesn't? What other diseases can you lose your leg from? I mean, like infection, Carpal tunnel? gangrene, uh, definitely. I mean, if he was a war vet, it blown off or something. H. pylori? H. pylori is in your stomach, I'm pretty sure. What if you shit so much that your leg falls off? Could 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 happen, I guess. You could die from HP. V? You can die from HPV. 
H- can you die from HPV? HPV is can cause things like cervical cancer and. Um, but you can't die from HP. Hewlett Packard. I don't think you could die from, I guess, just the virus itself. But the things that the virus causes can kill you. That's why it is recommended all girls 13 and up get uh, vaccinated with the Gardasil shots. It's a three shot series. And it will save you from several types of HPV, including ones that will cause cervical cancer and genital warts. This is an early PSA. Men can get it now, too. I would recommend. Do I need it? No, you're already sexually active. You have to get it before you're sexually active. Do I have HPV? I mean, almost everyone has HPV. What does it do to me? Nothing. Men are usually just carriers. I'm a carrier. Yeah. Dog. Who needs some? Yeah. I'm carrying. It's like the most common thing. And I'm pretty sure the second most common thing is herpes. So, Well, didn't they say in... A, I remember in health class in high school, they just said everyone had herpes. Yeah. Like two thirds of the population or something like that. They said everybody has herpes. herpes. Yeah. So I don't think I'm herped up. Maybe I'm, I'm in that 33%. I don't think so. I feel yeah. like you would have seen. Yeah. I don't think I have any. On my mouth. But it We're happens. We're saving it till marriage. I mean, yeah. Does it happen? Yeah, definitely. Um, this is going to come out uh, probably after. Well, it's definitely going to come out after. But did you see who they replaced Frank Ocean with? Uh, Blink-182. No. Blink-182 is filling part of that slot, but they added someone after Blink-182. John Summit? No. Don't tell me. They're, they're doing the, the, the B2B2B. Blink-182 is B2Bing with someone else? No. It's going to be the Skrillex Fortet Fred again to close it out on Friday, which is a banger of an ender. Damn, that's fucking cool. I mean, obviously, Frank Ocean is great, but he doesn't have the best reputation in his fans' eyes. But that Skrillex Fortet fucking Fred again is going to be a heater. Also, those are two totally different crowds. I feel bad for people that bought... Um, Coachella ticket, tickets, Coachella, Coachella tickets just to see Frank, Frank Ocean. Ocean. Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, because yeah, those are two very different uh crowds. Yeah. Um, but man, that's gonna be a good show. That's gonna be a fantastic show. Have you have you been to Coachella? Never been. Don't really see myself going at this point in my life. Would not be opposed to going. I would go. I don't think I'd ever. I would never pay for a Coachella ticket. I'm not... Um, Which sounds like very hoity-toity, and I don't mean for it to be that way. But I don't... I'm not going to... I'm not going to pay... I'm not going to pay for a Coachella ticket. No, it's... I would... I would... You know, if I'm working it, maybe. Which I would... That would be super cool to work it. But, um... I almost had it this year. You did. I almost had it this year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year I'll get it. I think Coachella is, you know, definitely an experience... I think it'd be cool. Um, I think the festivals where it's like a very Instagram focused um, are not great. Any influencer type festival is no good. The Bad Bunny uh, live stream thing that we watched was amazing. That was great. I mean, the cameras were a little funny. The guitar situation was a bummer. I'm. I wonder if he's. You think he's gonna bring out? Um, I think they'll try it again. This is going to happen after. So we'll already know by the time this comes out. Yeah. Um, fucking Chemical Brothers. Amazing. Uh, who else did we watch? Shout out to the people that did that. Uh, I forget. It's Smith and Lyle. Smith and Lyle. The production on the Chemical Brothers show was the best I think I have ever seen in it's any show I've ever seen in my life. Really cool. Like having the, the lighting behind the screen interact with the visuals on the, on the wall saying that is the the coolest shit of all yeah, time that was really cool like when i saw the afterlife stuff that huge screen where they had like the person like yeah. banging on it i was like that's pretty dope i haven't seen that before but this this chemical brother shit is like next level there's a lot of really cool production stuff that's coming out right now like that big, I don't can't remember where it is, but that big wall that comes down like this over the crowd and is like a 
diagonal almost over people. Diagonal. Oh yeah, I think you showed me that. That's really cool. Um, I mean, fucking print works. Can we? Who do we call so they don't close print works? Like what? I'm very sad that I'm not going to get to go to print works. I don't know in why it's lifetime. closing. Who knows? But man, that was at that was in the top three of where I wanted to go, alongside like obviously like Berg and other deep dark techno clubs in berlin i just think any show at what's it called print works would be really fucking cool to go to well Drum and bass, you're never techno. gonna get to go i know well that's okay i got to see it on the internet you're never gonna get to go do you know what today is what is today it's 420 i'm surprised you're not ripped out of your mind already no, because I um, feel like we tried that once and it was. You were out of great. it. You could not talk. Talking talking is hard when one is stoned. Like, I think that might be the point. You know what you should have done? You should have just ate an Eddie right when you got home and just let the good Lord take you where you wanted to go. No, that's what you did that's last time. That's what I did. Bro. You can't be doing that. I can't be doing you that. You can't be because we came out we came out the gate hot and then you just slowly slumped into your chair and was just like nah yeah. dog i also was not prepared to get that high maybe if i was like getting high and like i knew that it was coming and i wanted to be high but i was like fuck now i'm stoned and i'm still in the middle of this podcast and but you, you know you biffed it i may or may not get ripped later i may get ripped before we go to kava how are you not ripped and you still can't talk already i'm going to have to blur out your feet why? They're not in the frame. You got to wear socks, dog. My big toe hurts really bad. No, no, absolutely not. If you say hammer toe, I'm going to drop kick you into next week. Da na na na. Hammer toe. Was that supposed to be MC Hammer? Toe. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're a flat out idiot. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Do you want to get ripped with me, dude? No, I haven't smoked weed and I, I can't even... I don't even know how long. I don't think I'd be able to relax if you were stoned. I'm not. That's not my thing. No, that's fine. I mean, I think I did get secondhand when I was in New Orleans because the whole green room was just boxed. Chief but Keith. I don't think I could. If I took one little piece of a joint, I would probably die. You gotta know your limits, dude. I think it's funny. I don't. Do people in California, do people even celebrate 420? People smoke all the time. One of my, my first patients. It's of the legal day, here. People literally just smoke all day, every day, anyways. She was filling out a consent form and she wrote the date and it was 420. She was a retired nurse and she giggled. She goes, huh? 420. And the doctor's like, I don't get it. She's like, 420. That's because your doctor's yeah. a nerd. And then she's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll get it. Oh my gosh. Speaking of 420, I had quite the experience in my work last week. I. Uh, what does that have to do with anything 420? Just wait. Just wait. We, if this um, doesn't pay off, I'm going to uppercut you. We don't get a lot of excitement in my department. I'm not going to specify what department it is, but it's not like a very exciting, busy, high adrenaline place, in my opinion. Fine. Um, we had a patient who got um, injected with a local anesthetic at the beginning of a procedure, like normal, totally fine. Are there Always. foreign anesthetics? No. What, what, why they call it local? Local versus generalized. I don't know why. They, What's the difference? Local is like a shot. General is general anesthesia is like going under. Oh. Um, and uh, and then he, we give him the shot. He had, his blood pressure was fine. He was telling that he was feeling a little tired. Whatever. Um, it was super early, and then he goes. Um, I think I'm gonna pass out, and completely passes out. My and man knew what he was about. And the nurse who was doing the injection, and she's an RN, she goes, fuck. So she like tilts him back, puts his feet up. So the blood rushes back to his head and she goes, Laura, I need oxygen. So we go get the oxygen. We call a code because we have to call a code blue, even though he's not dying. He's just passed out. She what is code blue? And what are the other codes? Um, code blue. And are they the same at every doctor place? At my work, Code Blue is that we need like our, our crash team, like a team of people to come help because somebody's either f Code Blue could be anything from like somebody's fallen, somebody feels dizzy and can't get up from like their chair, or they just don't feel good. It would be way cooler if you had like an earpiece and you just like 
or like a watch code blue we have a clue no code i had blue. to do it over the intercom to the whole building and it was uh, really embarrassing because i was stressed out about like accidentally cursing because it was we have a fucking code blue because <laughs> i could get the phone where i was like fuck, fuck, fuck. but um they couldn't really get him up he was like bright red and normally when people like pass out from like an injection they like get super pale and their lips kind of turn blue and then they come back um but he was like super red super sweaty and we're like shit is this guy having a heart attack his blood pressure was not high his pulse was not high we're like what is what is happening if you're having a heart attack your pulse and your blood pressure are high like you yeah like something is off okay. like your diet you're like the bottom number the, taking notes your your blood pressure is high the diastolic i'm pretty sure is like the bottom number is like really high okay continue so he wakes up he comes to he goes he goes man i had a, like he thought he had been asleep and he's like did i pass out cuz we're all like crowding around him and then he like he wakes up fine the code team comes they do like a whole ekg long story short he uh goes to the hospital cuz the urgent care couldn't figure it out and then they discharge him and he walks back into the department and he goes i just want to let you guys know that i'm okay i accidentally ate eight edibles and we said what are you talking about and he goes i was talking to my wife cuz he was like violently barfing like throwing up like <laughs> could not stop throwing up like filling up our emesis bags would not stop this poor guy so sweaty and uh so he goes yeah my um my wife asked me when i was in the hospital you know did you happen to eat these those edib or those gummy bears that were in the refrigerator he goes oh, yeah oh no he goes yeah i i just saw him in there i was like he was in a rush to leave to go to his appointment it was early and he ate like eight of them and i mean i don't know how many milligrams were but i guess it was like a brother that had cancer or something or brother-in-law he whatever. fell for the oldest trick in the book and they had um and i guess like he did he had them do a drug screen at the hospital just to see and it was positive for thc and so he came in there and it great. just ripped and he was like i just want you guys to know i'm okay because he's coming back like next week for another surgery he's because like, he didn't get his surgery well, he has two other things we need to finish but he um he, this poor guy he was so nice and he's like i just want you to know i was fine um but like that happens all the time and it's like a very common thing of like i guess older people when they get really stoned is they like violently barf like, like you with a hangover oh my god but like non-stop like and they don't know why that they're barfing like non-stop oh my barf. god that's insane yeah especially i felt oh, so poor bad poor guy poor guy he just like wanted to have a nice little treat to pick him up in the morning and then he ends up having a wild ride yeah. of barfing and passing out in a doctor's office there's no worse feeling than being high but not knowing that you're high and legitimately thinking you're dying i've done that Cause that is like the worst. I felt so bad for him, but he was really nice and he was fine. But I let, well, that was the first time that that happened. Do you to remember us. the time that, uh, someone gave me a banana chip? Yeah. That it was a weed banana chip and you had to pick me up from work. Cause I could not physically drive home. I do remember that. Oh my God. That was like chip. the worst. That was the worst shift of my life. I was an unsuspecting consumer. Okay. If you hand me a banana chip, especially in the workplace, I'm going to assume that it's probably not, doesn't have pot on it. Yeah. Right? But I ate one banana chip, not knowing. An hour and a half later, I was laying on the benches in the dining room, like, what the F is wrong with me? And I made you come pick me up because I could not drive. Yeah. I do remember that. Shout out to that. I wonder how much weed was in that banana chip. Listen, it doesn't take a lot for me. Yeah. It could have been five. Five is kind of a lot. Like five, like takes care of me for sure. But I, um, I was gone, and I get in my head too, and it's just like it's the worst time for me. Edibles yeah. are the worst. I already told the brownie story, which was uh, the worst time. Um, I've only eaten edibles probably like three times. I mean, I've one of which I did not know it was edibles. I'm a five milligram person, max ten, but like several hours spaced out. Yeah, that's just not. Not in the cards for me. Yeah. Danae has told some pretty good stories about people that she's had to go on calls of people that like older people that have smoked weed because they like thought that they could do it or they like, were trying to have a little fun or whatever. And they freak out. Well, yeah, because weed is different now. Weed is different and it gets you fucked up. And I guess that's what happened. These like 
Like these people from out of the country ate a bunch. I don't know if they ate a bunch of weed or smoked a bunch of weed, but they were like barfing all over the place. One time uh, came home and me and all of my friends were in the backyard smoking weed um, as teenagers do. And, and my dad being the, being the um, responsible adult, not being the responsible adult, being the the big man that he is, thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. I can be cool in front of these kids. And guess what? He fucked around and found out. He fucked around and found out. And I literally, we were leaving the backyard. I remember walking by his room and his bed. And I was like, hey, dad. Hey. Uh, I was like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out. And he just looked at me, didn't say a word. And I just walked out and left. Couldn't talk. Was stuck. It happens. Was gone. I've been stuck. Everyone's been stuck. Yeah. Just like completely molded myself to the body. Yeah. Or to the body, to the chair or the couch, wherever I'm sitting. Well, why don't we, why don't we give the world a PSA and then let you get to your doink? Um, okay. My PSA for this week is to eat different food. Go out wherever you live. I'm sure there's different restaurants than what you get every week because I know we do. We are doing it tonight. That doesn't count. But go get different fucking food. You've had a sandwich every day for the last couple weeks. Go try something else. We tried Abyssinian food. We tried Russian food. We tried all sorts of stuff. We're out here circling the globe with food. Go fucking try some new shit. Get stoned. Don't get stoned. Have a brew. Don't have a brew. Don't care. But try go, to, go try different cultures. Get some fucking indigenous beverages. What is an indigenous beverage? Shout out Action Bronson. No, 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 no. What is an indigenous beverage? I don't know, like an or like an orange juice or like a like a cultural juice. I don't know. What did you try? That pear soda? That's like a there. It's like a Ukrainian. It's an Eastern European juice. Indigenous. Beverage. Try new food. Try don't try new food. Go to therapy. Don't go to therapy. This has been Coop Therapy episode twelve. Bye.